But uh, we we were really good, honestly. We we were good. Like we were a power trio. Like we were like the hell with it. We're gonna be like Cream, ZZ Top, and Zeppelin minus Robert Plant. And then <laughs> then one night, this little dude came down, and he wasn't little then. He wasn't little. He came down, and it was like we we just like every. <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 we would, we would have like, these get-togethers, and like every time we would like anybody want to sing or jam with us, whatever, and I was like, yeah, man, somebody would always get up. And then this one night, Ben was there, and we were like, you play guitar, right? And he was like, no, nah, man, no, nah, I'm good. And we finally got into jam, and it was just like just metal. I'm like, what is all this fast shit you're doing, man? What is... What is this like? Drop D. Satriani uh, stuff. I didn't know what Drop yeah. D was. No, nah, he was. No, I, we seriously not did like not Satriani, know. Satriani, like. Uh, uh, no, it, it, it's it's like more like James Hetfield, like the really Hetfield. fast yeah, rhythm yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Because Ben didn't even play solos back then. It was just like really fast rhythm stuff, People. or like really heavy rhythm stuff. And uh, he was like Tony Iommi when he when, when we first. But but like fast like Hetfield too. Yeah yeah yeah. It was just like really dark and. We didn't know what drop D tuning was until Ben came into the band. Really, I, we had no idea. Because my, was like, my dad, if a song was in drop D, he was like, I'll turn this shit off. Learn something old. And I'm yeah. like, I want to learn something. My, dad, my dad's like that, too. Your like, dad still to this day. Dude, my dad's probably D. one of the best rhythm players. Not just because he's my dad, but like him and Keith Richards and Chuck Berry. Like, like he that, plays that, that style of, really well. Of rhythm, you know. Like the boogie woogie with the pinky stuff. and Dude, like, you know. He's in the Kentucky Headhunters, him and my uncle. And, dude, I mean, like, when we play stuff in Drop D, he's like. He's, well, it's funny. He's like, because <laughs> we're, we're, we're writing songs. Rich will be down there. And he'll be like, hey, man, check out this part. I think you should add. And we'll be like, I'm having a guitar, and my phone is vibrating. It's driving me crazy. But he'll be, he'll he'll play the guitar, and he goes, oh, y'all got that, that fucked up tuning. That top string is all <laughs> shitty, and I can't play it. We're like, man, it's just, it's like. You hit the top three strings open, and it's a D. It's like you just you're a step flat there. That's it. He gets so pissed off though, man. But a lot, of, like, lot of I don't understand this shit. Dude, Tune it like Led Zeppelin. A lot of guys <laughs> don't still don't play in drop D. No, Keith Richards don't play the top string. I think I think he 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 plays in the tuning that Bo Diddley uh, introduced. I think like open G and open A. I think that's the one. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I think Keith Richards plays a lot in open A because he yeah. just leaves the top string off. Yeah. I mean, we do some songs in Open G uh, on the new record. Well, it's not really a full-blown Open G. It's kind of like a cheated Open G. And then we do some stuff. Like, what's weird is the first record was all C sharp or C. And this record goes from B to standard to Open E tunings, Open G tunings. And I don't remember what the other one was. I think we made it up. But how come? How come now for, for this album? What, what happened? I guess... In in two we years. wrote all the riffs that we could in one tune, <laughs> but no. What it what it is, man, is like when you sit and listen to like, like Zeppelin records, and stuff, and like a lot of the old blues cats, like all that stuff they're doing is in an open tuning. That's the only way they can play the slide and get the pull offs to sound right. Because when you play in standard, when you do the pull offs of multiple strings, it just does not sound right. So when you tune to open G, it's like playing guitar all over again. Like, every time you experiment with a new tuning, like, when mm -hmm. I went from playing standard to drop D, like, do you play guitar? So, you know, like, going from standard to drop D, it's a whole new world. Mm -hmm. Or going from standard to open E to open A to open G to, like, the weird tunings like Jimmy Page would use where he would tune, or, like, Hendrix, where Hendrix would tune his high E up to a G. Like, some of that slide stuff, like, all along the watchtower, where he's playing slide with the Zippo. He tuned his high E up to a G so he could have that octave right there to play. Because playing slide, you really can't do the octave like this. Mm -hmm. You have to have it right there. Yeah. And just just experimenting with different tunings, it creates a whole new way to play the guitar. Because I get bored playing drop D and standard all the time, really honestly. Well, and here's the thing. Drop D, like, I'm not a guitar player, but I know. Like, drop D... like and All of our songs are in drop D on the new record, except for, like, two. There's, just, I mean, like... You have to variate things. You have to, yeah. You know. But it's like a drop. It's like, like when we tune down, to, like when we tune to an open E, we're at open E a step and a half flat. So it's like C sharp, but you're tuned to open E. Yeah. 